Hello everyone, this is Man Faces, and today we're going to be talking about expanding from your atrium out into the uh, greater vault. So if you guys know uh, where I am, I'm sitting over by the trailer where you find the Overseer. And what we're planning on doing is we're planning on expanding our vault down the northeast sector. Basically what this video is going to do is it's going to just show you guys uh, how to use all the additional pieces of the building kit in order to make your vault a lot bigger because the main room is for the atrium and honestly it could have been even bigger than what I showcased I just thought about that recently but now what I wanted to do is make my vault extremely large and sprawling so to do that we're gonna use a couple of different pieces in conjunction with each other and I'm just gonna show the tips uh, and the tricks along the way just to help you guys out so check me out all right, so the first thing we're going to talk about is how to connect another kit to another kit. Now, a lot of you guys probably already know this, but some of you don't. Um, the kits will not connect to each other. The only times that they will connect is with doorways. So what we have here is just a basic atrium doorway and we're going to leave it here, butt it up. Now, what I want to do is expand this out into uh, a tunnel. So we're going to talk about our first set of pieces, which are the wide halls. And as you can see, it comes in a bunch of different types. But for now, we're really only concerned with the hall doorways. And there are two different types as set at two different angles, just to give you ease of snap. Uh, for me, I'm going to go with this one. Uh, it just seems to line up a little bit closer with the tunnel. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go on ahead and just build out just basically how you would do it normally. taking care to you know for the snap because it looks like this is how it was supposed to be put together uh, by Bethesda as if Bethesda might have made a vault kit and then was like okay uh, this is the you know restraints of the vault or the size and the scale of the vault okay so now what I'm gonna use is a, hall, a wide wall corner and that's gonna let me turn my tunnel and we can go inside and check it out it looks pretty awesome in here now running power to these I'm not too sure I haven't really uh, experimented with that and I don't know if the power connections will match but in any event we could just run it on the outside that's no problem okay so what we're now gonna do is just go ahead and continue our tunnel uh, on out all right, so at this point, we're ready to go on ahead and cascade down into the bigger canyon down there. You can kind of see that vault had their own little setup down there. I checked that out. It was kind of primitive. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go with a wide hall doorway. Now, what we want is some utility stairs to go down. But if you guys notice, um, they're not going to snap. They just don't want to. And the reason is, is because this side has a doorway but this side does not have a doorway so what we're gonna do inside the utility section which is where all your uh, hallways are hallways pass-throughs connectors some of them have cool little windows things like that um, we're gonna use the utility door in cap and we're just gonna pop it down right there now there is um, another one I believe there's a domestic yeah, and they kind of work the same way. They're just pallet swaps, honestly. Okay, so now that we have the door cap, we're going to go on ahead and we're going to go on and build our tunnel down into our vault. If you guys see now, it snaps, which is awesome. Three. And you could do something cooler because I believe that I'm like wasting a decent bit of space. But if you guys see, look at that. Look at that, almost as if Bethesda uh, in, intended for us to be to use it like this. But you know, what I could do is something like this, where we back around or add uh, one of these to make it bigger, something like this. And then you end up with like double tunnel and then continue your uh, tunnel back this way. See, the kits are really organic, and there's a lot of ways that you can get around just to make sure that you can do um, exactly what you want to do. But, you know, as in all things, see, look, there's even these wall caps. So I could go right there and then uh, continue my tunnels. Let's see if I can get one more on here. And then we'll move on to the next thing, because I think I've kind of 
Ooh, I like that. And so you can come on down here, and then with the signs, you can go on ahead and put a sign like reactor room this way, although there's definitely not enough room down here, but that's pretty awesome. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about the uh, habitation kits and how they work with the greater vault kit to make something extremely cool. All right, so now that we have our way back up to our vault, which, man, that looks creepy. We're gonna go on ahead and make our first room. Now I'm gonna go with common rooms for uh, the first build because I'm thinking about making a hydroponic studio so that way we can get food growing in over here. Okay, so if you guys notice, uh, just like before, the doorways are gonna butt up to each other. So now we have a completed door. You could even put you a door in there, close it off. Now, all of these kits uh, are pretty much the same thing they're just texture swaps so you have your common rooms your cafeterias uh, with the uh, you know the cafeteria like checkered floors you have your clinic you have your nursery I'm trying to get everybody out yeah, with the little spaceships uh, you got your overseers which is a really nice wood grain I really like these um, I really wish you could use these outside the vault uh, quarters and security and like I said they're all the same so once you know how to put together one kit you'll know how to mix and match all of the kits but for the first room we're just gonna go with the common room now I've started with a doorway but it doesn't look like I'm gonna have much more room so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on ahead and use one of these corner pieces okay and then that kinda finishes it up now we could go with another corner right here but it looks like we got a little bit of extra room, so why don't we use uh, one of these? Now, me personally, I don't like using the windows in some of the areas because when you look out, it kind of messes up your feel of being in a vault. But that's just me and personal preference. Now, there are other things that we could do as well. I don't want to really take all the time up trying to showcase, but like stuff like this is pretty cool too because I didn't want to lose uh, this area back here so what I used was a common room corner and basically what it is is that it had one pillar a roof and a floor and if you fit them in right you can do all types of things from making the rooms bigger which we'll check out a little bit to doing like intricate stuff like this so now we don't have to have a waste of space back here which is just really cool uh, it just seems like they thought of everything but it's more like uh, well, I'll cut it back one it's more like these are the kits that they use to build the actual vaults all right looks like we'll have to cut it back a little bit more but we all get the idea that's still pretty cool and then no wasted space okay so now that we have this room uh, it's pretty big. It's pretty nice. We can go on ahead and flesh it out a little bit more And we're just gonna use the same technique, you know over and over to make the room bigger Like I said once you know how to do it with the first kit uh, You pretty much just got it taken care of Now we could go up a second floor here, but that would mm, we would need to install ourselves a staircase somewhere so let's go on ahead and finish this up and then we'll talk about installing a second floor all right so i finished off our room uh just wanted to go on ahead and put in a few pathways it's going to get a little complicated so we're going to go on ahead and just go through it slowly so i can show everybody how it works um, what I want to do is have two hallways one that goes up there because I don't know if you guys know But that's where the water for the vault is um, Let me know if you guys want to talk about it. I thought it might be straightforward, but even I haven't found out uh, a Nice way to get it powered and integrated into the vault Okay, so what we're gonna be using is some of these domestic hallway pieces what I want is a hallway that branches off so we're gonna go on ahead and put that there now if you notice it already had a two doorway and this was already a doorway so it didn't need the additional piece of a doorway now for this one right here we just want a straight hallway uh, branching off now if you guys notice this one does not fit and that's because it needs the uh, door in piece there we go the end cap there we go 
And if you notice, uh, they have different colors, which I thought was pretty cool. You can kind of try to separate between uh, utility pathways and domestic pathways. Okay. So now what we want to do is put a pathway up to our second floor. Now, there are... Uh, we're just gonna go with this one right here now there are these which are really cool I like these a lot but they don't leave much room for us in this uh, tight confines of our cave but those are my primary go-to so now if you guys come inside the vault what we have going on is that on this side we have our straight path straight to where our water is gonna be and then on this side we kind of branch off to where I'm gonna put a cafeteria down there and then up here we go on ahead into our second floor now, what I'm probably going to use is a, a door in kit, and then I'm going to go with, uh, we're still in our common rooms, because I, I want a pretty big hydroponics plant. And we're going to look for one of these doors that kind of fit what we want. Hmm. That looks kind of good, actually. Do we have the room for snap? Hmm, doesn't look like we have the room for snap, so... What we're going to have to do is take this, we'll take this, set it here. Like I said, this is just kind of how it works. It's a lot of trial and error. That's why you really want to think about what you want to do before you start actually putting it into practice. And now we'll just try to find ourselves uh, maybe a two hallway, something like that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, perfect. And now we can go on ahead and put our door in cap on this. And then start our second floor. And I'm not going to go on ahead. I'm not going to show you guys the second floor or me, you know, putting together the second floor. Because uh, like I said, it's pretty much straightforward. Oh, that's going to be awesome looking. So now that we guys or now that we understand this now we're going to go on ahead and talk about some special techniques that i know and some issues that have come up in the vault as of late when with me trying to do this aggressive expansion okay so now that we have the general idea down now i want to go ahead and throw something a little more advanced in there so if you guys can see we pretty much have a three uh i guess a three wide of uh, vault room and we would go on ahead and just kind of finish it up and for the longest time I didn't think that it could get any bigger but through some like messing around I realized that these wall corners are the key so basically you just put one right there and what it does is it puts a finished edge on this side and now we can go on ahead and just continue to build like normal Good stuff, good stuff. Although we probably need it to come out a little bit. And that's an easy fix if we just go like this. Go like this. This is something I ended up having to do with my overseer's office because of the place I put it was kind of tight. But I still wanted it to be, uh, you know, a nice size overseer's office. Okay, and then, bam like that if it decides it wants to snap and now we'll just have a really really big room we'll probably have to pull this back and then cap it right here but man it's awesome okay so the next thing I'm gonna show is just something cool that I've been working on in my uh, spare time I'm just gonna set it up and then I'll just explain to you guys how it works okay so a couple days ago I had the idea to build shadow boxes inside the overseer's office because it's just so bleak looking and I think that people would want you know some reassurance in the wasteland and they're really easy to make these are kind of basic I had some nicer ones but I just decided just to toss some mud, mud fruit and uh, some potatoes and stuff in there but you could really put whatever you want uh, potted plants you know so to make it it's really really simple basically we have the same setup that we have over there but when you're building, um, like this is the setup, I just turn one panel backwards, and then I'll come into the rooms. I like using the common room for this because of uh, it just having the white walls. And then I get some of these corners. And what they do is they make a nice little like box. And then you just flip it back around. Okay, now if you guys notice inside of here, I was able to put a nice planter, so that way you could get now. Nah, 
you probably could get settlers back there uh, farming it while you were sitting in your overseer's office. I'm not giving any ideas or anything, but it'd be really easy to set up a pathway around the overseer's office and just have your settlers in there working while you're chilling, you know, doing your overseer thing. Well, there you have it guys hope you guys found it fun and informative please let me know what you guys think in the comments below and as always thanks for watching and take care everyone